guys, I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, and today I am showing you how to make Thanksgiving dinner using all the recipes from our Dining on a Dime cookbook. The link is in the description below, but I am doing Thanksgiving dinner from start to finish. I'm going to the grocery store, and I'm going to go through the entire process for you. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we put up new videos. Hello, I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, where you can eat better, spend less. We have a new hardcover with full color pictures and over 1,200 recipes and tips to help you save money on your grocery bill. Check it out at livingonadime.com. grocery store starting with the turkey right here nine dollars and fifty seven cents for the 16 pound turkey which was fifty seven cents a pound if you bought twenty five dollars or more limit one so I got one at Thanksgiving I will buy several turkeys and if the butcher will cut them in half I'll have him cut them in half and then I just cook them like a large chicken but if he doesn't, I just get three or four turkeys and put them in my freezer and we eat them throughout the winter. Now, this turkey is going to give us at least six meals for my family of four to six, depending on what kids are home eating that day. But even though this was $9.57, this breaks down to about $1.50 per meal for the turkey that is a stinking good deal. Now, gonna run through the rest of everything that I bought, all right? Now, for dessert, because you gotta start with dessert first. We always get these Edwards pies. My family loves them. They're always five to six dollars every Thanksgiving. This one was $5.99. Why go to all the work and kill yourself making a ton of desserts? If the family likes something that's simple, let them eat something simple. The same goes with dinner rolls. I don't make homemade dinner rolls for Thanksgiving. I know it's a special occasion. I know if you like doing that, that's totally fine. Me, I don't want to be stressed out for the holidays. So my kids love these crescent rolls. I just throw these in the oven, simple, roll them up for $2. It is worth it, okay? Next, let's finish desserts since we started and pumpkin pie is always a favorite. I paid for the pumpkin $1.39 for the pumpkin and then I needed, oops, here it is, evaporated milk. That was, I believe, $1, yes, $1. So for my pumpkin pie, it is approximately $2.50 by the time you include my flour and sugar and everything. Now, with these recipes, I am assuming you already have things like flour, sugar, butter, mayonnaise, condiments, that kind of thing, cornstarch. I'm assuming you already have those kinds of things, okay? Now, I did buy one extra thing of butter just because it's Thanksgiving and I use it in the pecan pie 
and I use it for the rolls and that type of thing. So I did include one pound of butter for that, which was a dollar seventy nine. Okay, oh dollar seventy nine. Oh, well, that's a really good deal. I may have to run back and get more. <laughs> okay, sorry, I thought it was more than that. Okay, next we have potatoes. A dollar ninety nine for the bag of potatoes. This will cost us approximately 25 to 50 cents for mashed potatoes for my family, and then the rest will be used for another meal. Yams. I got a can of yams. This was $3 and something. I am pretty much the only person who likes sweet potatoes in my family. So me and myself and I are pretty much the only one who eats the sweet potatoes, but that's okay. Then for salads, I got broccoli and the onion and the raisins for my broccoli salad that we love, love, love. I already had the mayonnaise and that kind of thing. Once again, I'm only using a tiny portion of the raisins. So the $4 this cost me, it'll be about 50 to 75 cents worth of raisins that I actually use for this meal. Green bean casserole, Mike's favorite. Got on clearance for 50 cents at Walmart with a can of cream of mushroom soup and the French fried onions, which I think were $1.50. So just under $2.50 for the green bean casserole. I know it's not fresh cranberries, but I love the jellied cranberry sauce. I love, love, love it. That's our cranberry. Then for dinner, or excuse me, for dessert, also we have our orange salad. I got cottage cheese, mandarin oranges, and just pretend this is orange. <laughs> I, I picked up the wrong one. Orange jello. This was a dollar seventy-nine, a dollar and fifty cents. So just around two dollars for that. Then for our stuffing, I got a loaf of bread for 88 cents. I got um, sausage for $2. And then I already had all of my seasonings for my stuffing. And I'm only going to use like this much of the bread loaf for the stuffing. Oh, and I forgot for my Jello salad whipped topping for that. So that makes it about $2.50 for the Jello salad. Then I also got pecans. Now it was $10 for this whole bag. This is an optional pie, but if you want your pecan pie, it's about $5 to make a homemade pecan pie. And let me tell you, it is so much better. The pecan pie and the pumpkin pie is so much better at home made instead of buying it from the store. I would make pecan, all my pies at home, my apple pie, my pecan pie, mix and match however you want. Then last, oh, I forgot. I got a cucumber just because we like sliced vegetables with ranch dressing for every meal. So I got a cucumber for just an extra vegetable. Then I got this cherry sparkling apple cider type stuff. We love this stuff just as a treat. If you don't get this, you could get your sodas, your Pepsi, or your Dr. Pepper, whatever it is you want. Now, for all of this, I spent $48, but here's the big but. This is more than one meal for my family. The turkey, I will definitely get five, if not six meals out of the turkey. The rest of the things I will get two to three meals. So even though this is $50, it breaks down to my Thanksgiving dinner to about $20 for the six to seven people that we will have for Thanksgiving. And then it will be less than $10, probably five to $6 for each meal after that. That is a really good deal. All right, now I'm gonna walk you through how to make your meal. Three days before Thanksgiving, you want to put your turkey out to defrost because it takes three to four days for a turkey to defrost. I live in Colorado. 
I have a big family. I do not have room in my refrigerator. So I put my turkey out in the garage and let it defrost in the garage. If you live in a warmer climate, you're going to have to find a place in your refrigerator to defrost your turkey. Now, if you need an emergency defrost, like I did last year and I forgot to take my turkey out, and the day before I realized it, you can put it in a sink full or a big bucket full of warm water, change out the water, and do that for four to five hours before you cook it, and that will give it somewhat of a boost for your defrosting to get it going, okay? Don't just leave it out on the counter. You can leave it on the counter for four to six hours if it's frozen, but I wouldn't leave it long term out on the counter. Next, two days before Thanksgiving, you want to get all of your pies made. You want to make your pecan pie, your pumpkin pie, your apple pie, and your pie crusts for your cream pies. Make your pie crusts two days before, but don't make your cream pies if you make them homemade until the day before Thanksgiving, and you will need to put your whipped topping tops on the day of Thanksgiving, okay? So you can make your chocolate cream base, but then the next day you need to wait and put your whipped topping on before you serve it, okay? Please excuse the clanking, that is our old dog. He's got dementia, so he paces. I'm really sorry. The day before Thanksgiving, you want to get all your salads made. So you want to get your broccoli salad made and get all your broccoli cut up, get your um, onion cut up, all of that cut up. Cut up your other vegetables. If you're having vegetables for dipping like cucumbers or carrots with ranch stretching, get all those cut up, put them in, in um, some water so that they're nice and crisp for Thanksgiving. Also, get your stuffing bread torn up and dried out one to two days before Thanksgiving. If your bread is already dried out, you can go ahead and make your stuffing ahead of time if you want and then just warm it up on Thanksgiving Day. Then, the night of Thanksgiving, you want to put your turkey in the oven. Now, the only way I will cook my turkey is to slow roast my turkey because it is so moist and so delicious. It's just absolutely wonderful. And what you can do is you can actually cook your turkey two or three days ahead of Thanksgiving, put it in a casserole dish with some turkey juice, and then cover it with foil and put it in your fridge or freezer. Then the day of Thanksgiving, just pop it in your oven and warm it up if you would like. But what I usually do is I usually put my turkey in the night before and I let it slow roast all night long. It's falling off the bone, absolutely delicious and totally ready for us to eat around 12 or 1 o'clock. If you eat later in the evening, put your turkey in first thing in the morning, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Put your turkey in the oven and it will be ready at 5 to 6 o'clock that night. Absolutely delicious. Then... On Thanksgiving Day, you will want to put the finishing touches on your pies. You will want to make up your biscuits or your buns or your cornbread, however you're, whatever you're using for your dinner rolls. You will want to get your mashed potatoes all made up. Several hours before Thanksgiving, you can peel and cut your mashed potatoes, put them in cold water, and they can go for a couple of hours until you're ready to cook them for Thanksgiving dinner. You can also make your mashed potatoes ahead of time, two to three hours, and let them just sit in a crock pot on warm, and then they will still be warm for Thanksgiving. So, I hope that gives you guys some easy Thanksgiving tips. Our Thanksgiving on a Dime ebook is $1 right now in our store. Just go to livingonadime.com. Click on the shop, click on ebooks, and you will find our Thanksgiving on a dime for $1. Guys, Thanksgiving is actually one of the cheapest meals of the year. All these recipes are in our Dining on a Dime cookbook volume one and in the description below at livingonadime.com. Please give us a big thumbs up and share this with all your friends. We will see you guys next time. And here you have Thanksgiving dinner already. All the yummy goodness. 
right there. I ran out of bowls, so I had to use my big bowl. And there's the apple pie that my family dove into before I could stop them. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.